nothing you cannot be, there's nothing you cannot do, there's nothing you cannot have. You are the most magnificent, the most remarkable, the most splendid being God has ever created. But who could reject such wondrous magnificence? But you do not know who you are. And you think you are a great deal less. I tell you this, you are your own rule maker. You set the guidelines. And you decide how well you have done, how well you are doing. For you are the one who has decided who and what you really are, and who you want to be. The process of creation starts with thought, an idea, conception, visualization. Everything you see was once someone's idea. Nothing exists in your world that did not first exist as pure thought. Next comes the word. Everything you say is a thought expressed. It is created and sends forth creative energy into the universe. Next comes action. Actions are words moving. Words are thoughts expressed. Thoughts are ideas. Go first to your highest thought about yourself. Imagine the you that you would be if you lived that thought every day. Imagine what you would think, do, and say, and how you would respond to what others do and say. This whole process is a massive move to consciousness. What you will find out if you undertake this challenge is that you've spent half your life unconscious. That is to say, unaware on a conscious level of what you are choosing in the way of thoughts, words, and deeds until you experience the aftermath of them. Then when you experience these results, you deny that your thoughts, words, and deeds had anything to do with them. I want to remind you to continue to dream and dream big.